Frank Baltier is here with Rolling Burritos, a food truck here in DuPage County, the Chicago suburbs, serving breakfast burritos for you guys for breakfast, lunch, and for dinner. Because um, at the end of the day, who doesn't like eggs for dinner? So we're gonna do a video today, and the debate is, do I buy a uh, used food truck, a new food truck, or do I just buy like an empty shell, an empty truck, and build it myself? And the only reason I'm doing the video is because um, couple uh, really good uh, friends of mine that I have as business owners they're like why don't you just buy it used and start working right away because you're losing money in having to build it out yourself and going through inspections and this and that and that's actually a valid point and I give them 100% credit because to an extent that is 100% correct but it was a good detail when they mentioned why don't you just buy it used to start earning money right away uh, from a person that's distressed or going through some financial hardships and just wants to sell their food truck food trailer that actually is a good point the issue with that is if you have to get a loan which uh, in my case if i wanted to do that i had to get a loan because the price tag is, is pretty significant it's in the 20 30 000, 40 000 price range is when you go to the bank and ask for a loan they want to see the history of it right and um in real estate, right, you can prove that it has had rental or it has appreciation or it has cash flow. In the food truck, it's a little different because I don't have history of selling breakfast burritos. In my area, there's no comparables of people selling breakfast burritos because nobody does it, which is why I like the market. Um, and so when it comes to that point, I, that that is a valid point, but it can't be sustained because it cannot I cannot prove to the bank that it's a cash producing vehicle because there's no history in my background that I do of that selling and in the area there's no selling of that so they'll deny you for the loan so when it comes to that that was really not an option so we had to move on with plan B which is buy an empty trailer you can buy a used food truck or a used food trailer and uh, start working I wouldn't say immediately because at the end of the day you still have to go through the same process. You have to draw out the plans, submit it to the health department. This is what DuPage County is, right? So every county is a little bit different, but when it comes to DuPage County in Illinois, uh, you have to draw up the plans, say what you're gonna do, uh, uh, sell. You have to have a commissary, and a commissary is just a physical kitchen that's not you because you're not a mobile 100% restaurant. So you have to have an agreement there. That, that actually took me a little bit of time to find. Um, because you know it's it's a numbers thing right you have to pay somebody to do it and you know does it make sense to be here be there be here be there and you have to drop the agreements and whatnot and that actually takes a bit of time and there's really no way around that one so regardless if you buy new used or bill it yourself it doesn't matter you still have to have a commissary and then submit it all to the health department it still takes some days so when it comes will you save time yes and no you won't save time because you still have to do everything that any food truck does, regardless if you buy it used from a, let's call it distressed seller or somebody trying to get out of the business and move on to something else. You still have to do the same process that I would do if I built it in my, let's say my driveway, right? Where I built it in a lot that I bought and I wanted to just build it out. So the price tags, they're all over the place, right? You can get really expensive, you can get really cheap. I'm gonna show you guys my numbers on what I built in and what I have invested into mine and um, you know where I found some of these deals that you can find them online. I'm gonna show you guys on a little screen share that I'll do here. Uh, but with that, that's the reason why I did it. If you're, if you're a pretty handy person and you love working with your hands and you like seeing projects come into fruition and you have some type of, like I said, handiness, then this is a project for you like you actually would enjoy it i enjoyed it i actually genuinely enjoy working with my hands and i like like building stuff right like uh what is that fix it felix right <laughs> with a little hammer and everything i actually genuinely enjoy building stuff and to me it was a really cool project i really enjoyed it and it, and it actually has that like ownership pride where you walk into it and you're like man i built this like this was just an empty shell and now i walk in and it's a full-blown kitchen you know helping us uh, make breakfast burritos uh, serving the community helping others out being able to feed their breakfast needs 
So that's how I feel about it. All the trips that I did uh, to Ohio to pick stuff up, I see it as a like a mini getaway from the Chicago area. Uh, I actually, I actually like driving to Ohio. That was pretty cool. You got to see the Amish community and how they wake up and they're the and the horse and the buggy. And obviously, you don't see that here in Chicago that I know of, that I know of, that I've seen. So when I drove to Ohio, it was kind of like, whoa, this is pretty cool. I actually pretty like peaceful. It, it felt really peaceful out there. So uh, yeah, you took I took a couple of trips to pick stuff up, but I didn't really see them as like a hindrance. I saw them actually like as a cool thing to do. So the numbers are on the next screen here. So with that, do I buy it new? You can buy it new. The only thing about buying it new is you might need uh, some money, some loans, either from uh, your family, the bank, whoever, and they can get pretty pricey up there. I can't get a loan, that's why I didn't do it. I can't get a loan because I'm, uh, I don't have uh, a W-2 income anymore. So it's a little bit trickier for us to get loans if uh, you're self-employed and you don't have all the funds in your bank, right? They, the banks, they are not very, they're not very favorable for you. Don't know why, because we're trying to produce jobs for people. They should be. But anyways, um, that's if you buy it new. If you buy it used and it's pretty pricey, same thing, you might have to get a loan if you don't have twenty, thirty, forty thousand dollars $40,000 sitting in your bank account right now. Um, so that's why I built it myself. I bought a trailer that was a good price, bought everything itemized. As you guys will show, I have every almost every penny accounted for in there. So with that, Let's do a little screen share of the numbers. I have it on an Excel spreadsheet for you guys. And you guys can see what we have into this. And Tuesday is the inspection. And if they say yes, then I'll be up and running next week. Woo! Hopefully you guys can come see it. I do have some homework to do because I have to put everything in. I mean, one day I have to fix everything, bring all the griddles inside, turn on the gas, turn on the electric. And it's snowing and it's icing out here in Chicago right now. So it's kind of like, ugh, can I just get a good day to do it? So with that, Frank Baltier is with Rolling Burritos. So here are the numbers on my handy dandy Google Sheets, the Excel Sheets. And uh, it's pretty much broken down even from my truck rental. So we're going to start really quick, just break it down. There's all the stuff that I had to do, the stainless steel, uh, gas for the truck when I had to go pick up this trailer, the lights, the water heater, um, where you put the generator in the front. The three compartment sink, propane holders, anything and everything that you need to build out the food truck is right here. The biggest expense that I had is right here, which is the cooking equipment and tables. And then when the health department made me reorder stuff, those are the two biggest things that I had. Ah. Uh, but with that being said, just oh, and this one, too, which is your uh, where the heck is it right here? The hood for the trailer was twelve eighty five. That's a big expense. Anything with the comma for me was pretty hefty. Here you go. The fire suppression final install was twelve sixty, and fire suppression deposit was twelve fifty. So those are the biggest ones on there. But everything out the door, not counting the trailer, was fifteen thousand eight ninety four with sixty three cents. If you count it, forty two hundred bucks. Everything that I have invested in there, not counting, uh, obviously, materials, which is the cooking stuff that we're actually going to do, the eggs, the chorizo, and things like that. We're at $20,094. But I was able to sell the two tables, and I got 240 bucks for those, and $55 for the little hand sink. So we could take that off from the 20000 So we're really just... Uh, a little bit shy of twenty thousand dollars so we're about nineteen thousand dollars or some on there so just so you can get a perspective of buying an empty trailer fixing it up yourself you're about twenty thousand dollars at the door exactly how you want it everything is brand new in here and these were roughly about thirty eight thousand dollars when i was looking for some uh on here so that's just a idea so you guys can get the perspective on what it is i think one of the bids that i have was thirty eight thousand dollars but let's look online and see what they're really going on a real life website and what these owners are buying them for right now so with that let's jump so we're looking do i buy it new do i buy it used or 
do I build it myself? So let's go here and we'll just go to Google and look up used food trucks for sale. And there's a couple websites on here that work that I use. One of them was that food truck empire right here. And the other one was used vending. There's a couple on here. You can go to eBay or whatever. Um, does that even exist anymore? I'm surprised Amazon doesn't sell any darn food trucks. Um, so these are the two that I use. The one I use the most was used vending when I was looking up food trucks that I wanted to buy. They have different options on here. You can find an ice cream truck, barbecue truck, snowballs, coffee, pizza, catering, bakery, whatever you want, anything you want. And what I did is I just started scrolling to see if I found anything that I really liked. Um, they do have some on here. Let's see. Where is this? So you can look up here at the top where it says food trucks and mobile kitchens or concession trailers. So we can compare one or the other. Um, let's go to concession trailers first. Kitchen food trailers. And see what makes sense and see the price ranges on these things. So you have this one for $14.8. Kind of simplish. It's not my style, so I wouldn't look at it just because um, I see it as like I have to see it every day. And if I don't like seeing it every day, and this doesn't call my attention. This one, just so you know, it takes three weeks to complete it. So it must be a build out from a builder. Uh, if that's not, I, I, I guess this wouldn't be really a used food trailer uh, because they have to build it out. So I would consider it like a new one because they're going to build it out to what you want. Uh, this one is a used one. So well, I said it's new, but it's already made 29,000 bucks. Let's see if anything calls my attention here that I'll click on it. This one's 21,000. Oh my gosh, look at this one. 41,895. This thing must be beautiful or something for 41,000 bucks. Here's another new one. That's a 22 foot long trailer. That's actually pretty long. Um, mine's a 16 footer. This one's eight and a half by 20, $60,000. It's an ice cream truck. 44,000, 32 foot custom trailer. I'm trying to see one that's like 16 feet long. Huh? Look at that. That's a nice little, nice one. Gently used 2019 fat frog. Let's see, $71,000 where I can buy you in a food truck in a trailer. $71,000. That's a little bit pricey, to be honest. Nice wraps on it. I like how they have it decal on the outside. That actually looks really nice. We got some lights up there. Jamaican cuisine. Two propane tanks on the left of the door and the right of the door. Ooh, that's actually nice. I like this one. It has your burner of another burner and a fryer. Yeah, on the left. It has a sinks over here. It's actually not bad. Just so you know, uh, every county is different here in DuPage County. If you guys see the sinks over here, if you do have cabinets, they have to be on six inch legs uh, for cleaning. That's what it says. I don't know if, you know, maybe I misunderstood it, but I just, I didn't even want to risk it. So I didn't put any cabinets in mine. See how these have cabinets? I don't know what the rules are exactly, but I just didn't even want to risk it. So everything that I have has these legs over here, like this one. That's how mine is. 24,000 so you can look all day like literally there's pages and pages and pages of these of people trying to sell them. this one's a 2017 it's actually not a bad size eight and a half by 18 let's see what they sell for be the next owner of this kitchen 24,200 let's see what you get for $24,000 if it has that fan up top you know it has a cooker that's how I know now yeah you might have to replace that uh Unless you can clean it up really nice. That right there. That's what you get with some of these used ones that um, they're not always the cleanest just because, you know, obviously people use them and it's their daily workhorse. It's actually not bad. You know, you just have to clean up a couple of things. I'm getting my truck wrapped pretty soon and they're trying to figure out what the heck's going on Nineteen thousand. so you, you see is all the prices go all over the place here and they're high they're low it's just a matter of what you want and how much your budget is but you can buy used ones and it makes for a good um uh, 
debate on there. You know, do I buy new, used, or build it myself? You just have to do you do you do have to go pick them up. So if this one's in California, you got to fly out to California, or sorry, drive out to California, pick it up, and then drive it all the way back to wherever the heck you want to go. So let's go to the next one, and then we're out of here. Just I just want to show you guys this website right here because I did use them quite often. This is a food truck. Look at this one. This one's actually not bad looking. Forty thousand dollars, and it's probably like an old um, those mailbox people. What are they called? Uh, post post office. Uh, mail mailman, mailman, mail mail woman. Um, it's probably one of those old trucks like that, or an old FedEx. It actually looks looks pretty nice. It's nice and short. It's not too big. It'll fit in little a lot of different places. If you're looking to be really really mobile, you just have to wrap it a little bit. It has a generator um, hole right there that you can stick the generator in there. That's actually not bad inside. Look at this. They got the three compartment sink right there. They have your um, where the water goes, your water tanks, the lights up top. Ooh, they actually have the the fire system up top. They have a deep fryer. I don't need that one, but a lot of people. I uh, like to fry in these mobile kitchens. I don't because they require a whole different um, uh, inspection on it. They need you, you need to have different fire extinguishers. They actually have the same uh, burners that I have, which is the, these right here, the same company. Not bad, actually. This is a nice looking truck. Oh, here we go. I see something here. So on here on the three compartment sinks, just because I know what DuPage County is looking for, if you see here on the left of it, it's a table. And on the right of it is a hand sink. So in DuPage County, where I want to do business at, they require you to have a drain board or like where the water can go down back into the sink. When you put your um, dishes on there or, or your plastic or whatever, they want it to have like an angle down into the sinks. This one doesn't have it. So you just got to make sure that when you buy something, when you're purchasing something, if you're ever looking, this is where I can raise a... Um, raise my debate and be like you know what this is a uh this is why sometimes it's not good to buy used because you might actually have to invest money into it now to be able to correct it to fit into the health department of your county because now you have to do two things on here you have to replace this sink and buy a new table because this one's like a drop-in sink onto the table so you have to buy a new table which those can be pretty pricey now that i know and then you have to buy a new sink to have the drain board because you have to have one on the left and one on the right. If you want to do business in, for example, my county, which is DuPage County. You can do business maybe in other counties, but when it comes to DuPage County, where I want to do business, this wouldn't work. And I would have to change this, which the sink would be about 500 bucks. A new table about be 300 bucks, plus changing out your plumbing. Uh, so you're looking maybe another 1,000 bucks on there just to change out this sink right here. But it is a nice truck for $40,000. Ooh, look at that. It only has 30,000 miles on it. So with that, just want to show you guys a couple of examples of do we buy new, used, or do we build it ourselves? And I chose the build it yourself route because I can custom make it to how I wanted it. Exactly how it is inside is exactly how I want it. Um, and it's pretty cool because you become pretty handy that if you don't like it, you just fix it yourself again and move a table around, do this, do that. And you don't have to call somebody out every single time to come and help you fix something. So if you can increase your skills and handiness, that'd be pretty cool. So with that,